Nicholas Feldman. Yes! yes! Guys, thank you so much for watching uh, the last show. I really appreciate it. It feels so good to be back with you. I know it's been, you know, a while. We took, we took some time apart, you and I. We took a couple years off, you know, to work some shit out. Um, but I'm just glad that you took me back. I'm glad that we're back together again. And I know that we broke up and we got back together and then we broke up and we got back together. But isn't, isn't that just like us because lesbians? <laughs> Last time on the show I talked about intersectionality. This time I want to talk about fighting the fuck back. Um, you know, first of all, if you live in another country, can we come there? <laughs> uh, things have gotten a little crazy here, and um, if just if you had like a guest house or just a cottage that could fit the entire uh, population of um, uh, California, New York, Chicago, uh, Austin, Texas, um, just uh, the Oregon and Washington, and a little bit over here. <laughs> There is something you can do that is more productive, like write emails and make phone calls to your reps and donate to great places like the ACLU, HRC, Sylvia Rivera Project, the Anti-Defamation League, any of those places or a place that you care about. But if you watch this show and you enjoy it, then please take five or ten dollars or whatever you can and donate, please. Put your money where my mouth is. <laughs> oh, also, there's this great app called Countable that makes it really easy for you to reach your representatives. It actually connects you directly with them. Uh, and so you can write them things like, you know, um, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and like, and like, how? <laughs> and also, stop. <laughs> Actually, right now, please download Countable. Right now, seriously, on your phone. Do it. Do it, though. Okay, now take a picture of yourself using it and send it to me because I don't trust you. And also, I can be very controlling. <laughs> we have an amazing show for you today. One of my dearest friends, one of your dirtiest thoughts, from the O Word and Ray Donovan, the gorgeous and talented Kate Manning is here. <laughs> You don't know which part I'm kissing. <laughs> she does. <laughs> She's writing up a cease and desist as we speak. <laughs> anyway, what's funny is I'm married. <laughs> And my wife is sitting over there, but she's like enjoying it. She likes it. I don't know. She married it. She married it. She does. I don't know. But first, let's take a moment to check in with the coolest chick I know who has a very fancy, important job, but is here on a Saturday shooting a vlog with me anyway. <laughs> my best les, Randy Rosenduff. Woo! 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 Get, get, get in here. Get, sorry about that. That's all right. Hi. Hi. I like this jacket. I like your jacket. Well, let's keep heavy petting. Okay. Um, hi, buddy. Rachel doesn't have her button anymore. She can't. No, she doesn't. No dinging. Nope. Nope. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. Nobody would want me to do that. But I can do whatever I want. <clears throat> <laughs> Buddy, how are you? I'm really good. I'm really good. How are you? How I'm, are you? I'm I mean, well. It's we're know, back, you know? I'm happy to be back with you. What were you going to say? What was like the but you know? I was, you know. Because the, the whole, you know, yeah. that thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> we live in the United States of Rich America. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why? Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's a crazy, you know, I really hope that in, in a few years if people are watching this, you know, just because they like just want to reminisce, and they're like hearing all this like you Number know Trump that. stuff yeah. and like political turmoil stuff. They'll be like, "That was crazy," but it isn't happening anymore. <laughs> <sighs> um, what is this T-shirt that you're oh, wearing? Oh, this is. I'm so happy you asked me about this. This is. Um, <laughs> we didn't uh, plan didn't that plan at all. <laughs> Nothing is... about anything that we just said was planned. Sorry, Casey. Did that fuck you up? I put my hand on the mic. Okay. Sorry, you want to ask me? We're question? very fancy, by the way. I don't know if you know. We have a real production going on. First of all, it's an entirely queer crew. Woo! How cool is that? <laughs> queer crew. <laughs> we should get like t-shirts or something. That's good. 
queer crew. <laughs> I feel very proud about that. And, uh, and we have the best, and interestingly enough, the queer crew got us the best equipment we've ever had. <laughs> These are the best mics, the best lighting, the best cameras. Because queers are magic. Because queers are magic. They live in the forest. <laughs> and they create beautiful television. Um, <laughs> Um, no, I just, I just think it's really cool. I think it's awesome that everybody in this house right now is, uh, is a queer person. I think it's cool. That's all. If we lived in a queer world. I mean, it, we live in Los Angeles, so it's close enough. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. So, sorry. So, tell, tell, me, uh, tell me about this t-shirt you're Oh, wearing. I want to tell you all about it. Um, so, this is, a, this is a collaboration with our... Sister... Resistor. Resistor. Um, so our friends over at Otherwild, who were the women that brought us uh, The Future is Female, which I'm sure that I think 95% of you have two versions of this t-shirt <laughs> at yes, this point. Yes, exactly. Um, so that was, a, they were donating money to, or still donating money to Planned Parenthood for proceeds from that shirt. Which is awesome. Um, but proceeds from this shirt, 25% of the proceeds from this shirt go to the ACLU. So That's great. So you know what? Forget what I said in the beginning. Just buy one of these t-shirts and that'll do it. I mean, I'm sure the ACLU would appreciate a direct donation, <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you want to wear the t-shirt that... I was just like trying to give them a prize for donating. <laughs> you know, they're like, so what you're telling me is I can donate $5 and get nothing. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, if the, the first person that downloads that, uh, that app that you're talking about yes. and shows it to you, I will send them this shirt. Oh my god! <laughs> I have a very strong reaction to that! Oh my god, that's really cool. I'll okay. do that. Yeah. So the okay. first person who downloads Countable sends us a photo uh, and tweets us at uh, this just out. Yeah, you will get an extra large t-shirt from yours truly. How cool is that? Thank you, Remy, for oh, that. You're you welcome. I, yeah. yeah, I that's mean, cool. but also just donate to the ACLU. Also, yes, absolutely. And if you don't know what the ACLU is, by the way, ACLU uh, is this incredible group of lawyers that are responsible for the fact that like, gay marriage is legal. Mm -hmm. And they're responsible for the fact that interracial marriage is legal. They're an incredible organization. They're really on top of their shit. They really are. <laughs> and they're on top of just all the shit that's happening. And the pile of shit. <laughs> Let's be honest. You're really here to tell us who to listen to. So who do you have for us musically? Oh, you guys. Oh. I'm very excited about this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. This album, this album just came out. I had to actually order it because I couldn't find it in stores anywhere. Amazing. Uh, it's streaming on all of the platforms, but um, this is a young lady named Molly Birch. Okay, she's cute. I can see that. She's from Los Angeles. She went to school in North Carolina. She's based out of Austin. You know a lot about her. We, <laughs> I have listened to this album. I think the album came out maybe a week or two ago, but I've listened to it an embarrassing amount of times. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, so it must be good. We're thinking, like, I think if you want to go to, like, Nico meets Roy Orbison meets Angel Olsen. Okay. So there's, like, <laughs> yeah. there's, like, it's, she's got this, like, beautiful yeah. velvety voice. You just want to, like, wrap yourself in her voice with maybe some scotch and just, like, <laughs> dance around your house a little. I get that. Yeah. That's nice. I feel like that about Rachel's voice, so I oh, understand yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, she's yeah. got that like velvety texture. Look she's at that like, look you're getting. <laughs> you would think I complimented That's my the wife. Look of someone who loves you. Yeah, I compliment my wife and she just goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying you have a beautiful voice that I want to <laughs> wrap myself around with when I'm naked. <laughs> you can't just say beep. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, and you guys, um, d download this, go out and buy the record. What when is you, it actually called, Molly Birch? Molly Birch, the name of the album is Please Be Mine. Please Be Mine. Yeah, these are like, these are great breakup songs. Oh. They're good songs to like play when you're driving out of the city to go see a poppies and just with the windows down. What, what life are you living? <laughs> <laughs> when you're driving out of the city. This is what I do in my head when I'm sitting at my desk all day. I just imagine myself free as a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she's touring this album right now. Please go see her. She's incredible live. She right now, voice. your life sounds like a Joni Mitchell music video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she oh, ever yeah. made any, but it's like you just like at home, just like drinking scotch and yeah. like then like driving out. It's, it's called single. <laughs> Aw, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You can stream this on Spotify, but I would encourage you, if you like the album, to buy it. Because yes. Because you don't really get a lot of 
You can't really pay your rent on Spotify streams. Yes, so. we like to support artists and buy their vinyl and go um, to their shows. Go to their shows. Buy their merch. Buy their merch. And make the money from make that the stuff. money from that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, let's hear it for Remy Rosendo. <laughs> and now, please welcome America's favorite television lesbian, Kate Manning. <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much for coming back to the show. Did you know this is your seventh appearance Get out. <laughs> on this Just Out? But in a span of how much time? Uh, over over nine years. God, it's crazy. You have been on the show seven times. Serious? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I love you. <laughs> Why um, would you keep doing this to yourself? It's, it's, it's an indication of how much you mean to me, because you know I would normally wouldn't do this. No, I know you wouldn't. I really love you, yeah. too. And I'm being very genuine in saying that. <laughs> you guys are having a real moment. Can you give us a minute? <laughs> I really appreciate it. You're so very welcome. It's very much because of you that the show has become the vaguely, mildly popular success it has. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a diehard TJO fan that you know, Kate was my very first guest. I was. Back when the show premiered in 1966. <laughs> <laughs> you were a beatnik and I was smitten. <laughs> And that reference just went right over the head. 95% <laughs> of the people who watch the show. Because uh, we are old. Yeah, we are the, old. <laughs> yeah, the millennials everywhere. They're just right they over their know. head. I agree. Now, it's been almost 10 years since the L word was on. Can you believe that? Isn't that crazy? Ten, wait, you're right. It's almost been 10 years. <laughs> yeah. So we know that I do math a little faster. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, it has been almost 10 years since The L Word has been on, and, and I would say nothing has come even close to capturing the struggle of gorgeous lesbians in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just beautiful lesbians with nothing but time on their hands. <laughs> and just somehow also money. <laughs> what was your favorite sex scene you ever shot? <laughs> Are you serious? Really? I don't know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, right hand to God, I really don't. You don't? You just said it was over 10 years, almost 10 years ago. I know, but when things are like, you remember them when they're good. <laughs> 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 they got kind of, all, they, they were fine. They were. But Carmen, probably? Probably Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> Played by Sarah Shahi. I know it's a real person. I love Sarah. All right, to, 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 to give you a satisfying answer, I'd probably say she was the easiest one to work with. Easy how? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing changes. It may have been 10 years. <laughs> We're back, baby. Nothing's changed. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Okay, so you know, right now in television, it's all about revivals. Uh, mm -hmm. They're actually bringing back Will and Grace, and I can think of another uh, queer show that deserves a revival: Queer as Folk. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know anyone associated with that show. <laughs> so, what do you think? What do you think about it? Maybe mm. a revival of the old L word? What do you think about that? Would you do it? Because I would. You would do it. I would totally do it. I would certainly do it. Would you really? 100%. Really? A lot of us would. Guys, did you? Are we starting something? Is I hope something so. happening I, right here? I mean, is that like a thing that could maybe happen? Well, it seems to be the trend that's going on. It does seem to be the trend. Right? So. I just got sexually excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, I, I mean, so you actually think that could happen? I think anything could happen. The likelihood of it happening is different. It's not up to me. Okay. That's up to. But you were like kind of the best part of it. And also, I like I like your part. I like Leisha Haley. Mm -hmm. I also, of course. of course, I like Bet and whoever that other lady was. Which one? <laughs> Bet and Bet, Bet. Bet and Frankie. Bet. <laughs> Long time. I don't exactly. remember. Exactly, it's been a long time. I, I'm. I know. Yeah. I. I know. I. I'm, I would be interested. Leash would be interested. I'm sure Jennifer would. It's just a matter of. Guys, what, <laughs> why are we all just sitting here? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, we haven't got to make this happen. I mean, I know for for me, I would love the L word to come back and see what you all are up to. What we you all know, look all like. these years later. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like 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 what would middle Shane be up to, right? <laughs> you know, like is she still like, breaking hearts and cutting hair? <laughs> you know, you you started the show when you were in your twenties, right? Were you in your twenties? Yeah, twenty three or twenty four. 
I mean, you I are so much older now. Yeah. Um, I don't want to give away exactly. But I got, can I tell you something? What's that? So are you. <laughs> <laughs> I would care about that burn, except my hand is on your thigh. <laughs> Um, but yes, we have gotten older. We oh, are the yeah. same age, so I know how old you are. I also. know how, how old you are, too. I know. <laughs> it is a... Uh... But I have no shame in that. I no, really don't. No, me neither. No. I truly could care no, less. No, no. No, I say it's that. A big, I mean, yeah. we're turning a big age this year. Yeah. Um, and I'm not depressing. Mm. <laughs> I'm not de it's just there's a thing that I haven't done in my life. <laughs> it's okay. You know, it's, in my head. <laughs> it's all right. Got her to touch me. Yeah. <laughs> so the truth is, I hmm. came up with some story ideas um, about maybe where Shane is at now. Ten um, years later. Ten years later. Sure. You know, middle aged. Getting you know, there, certainly. She's getting up there. Oh yeah. You know. Yep, so if enough. I if I can pitch you some ideas, is that yeah, is that it. cool? Of course. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Okay. So how about? Shane has a three-way and throws her back out. <laughs> mm, I don't want to spend a day filming doing that. Yeah, because it's hard to act like your back is out. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep going. Okay. Not bad, but you know, okay. All right, better. that's fine. That's fine. It wasn't actually when I when I I'm wrote thinking, this. Listen, I'm thinking of like the like these are great ideas, but I would, you know, logistically have to have do, to do this, and so I envision it. my day at work, and that doesn't sound. Crazy, okay, so that's let's cool. Keep going. All right, well. <laughs> I mean, America would love it, but um, okay. How about you know Shane's getting up there? Uh, how about uh, Shane thinks seriously about getting a four hundred one k? That's like three eighths of a page. <laughs> it would be a whole story, yeah. you know, where she's like looking for the right accountant, <laughs> you know. But the accountant is hot. <laughs> and then she sleeps with the accountant. Is that where you're going? Okay, I mean, maybe. that's where you're going. <laughs> Shane has to up her vitamin D intake. <laughs> because when you get older... <laughs> I like it. Okay, it doesn't look like you like it. <laughs> I'm just thinking, it's like I'm thinking, yeah. I, I, yeah, 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 like she goes to the doctor, and the doctor is hot. <laughs> and then she inevitably sleeps with the doctor, or she gets a smoothie, and the vitamin D is in the smoothie, and then exactly. she sleeps with the girl who's making the smoothie. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Somebody's got sex on the brain. <laughs> Shane has to get reading glasses. I like that. Oh, that's realistic. Okay, well, yeah. here, I got you some. Oh. Um, oh would you do me a favor? Take, take your cool glasses off and put, put the reading glasses on. Okay. Mm. See, this is like gonna give me. What the fuck are those? <laughs> These are like gonna give me. Just play a along. Screamy head. Oh, God. You don't have to. Here and then, you know, put here. Put like it. <laughs> put them like that. Put them like that. Okay. Now say. Now say not to camera because that's not how they do it on the L word. But you know, say to me. You yep. know. Who are um, you? Um, you? You know who I am. Um, you, I'm one of. The, I'm the smoothie girl. Okay. 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 <clears throat> now you. Now you say to me. Hmm. Take your pants off. Just no lead up, just that. Well, I mean, I don't is this happening in the smoothie yeah, shop? Yeah. I just like to get an idea of where my surroundings. Well, you are. have you read you're reading the AR, AARP paper, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and you're you know you're at like a coffee shop at six thirty because you get up real early now, <laughs> um, and you're just like reading your AARP you know newsletter, and you see an attractive um, you know barista, and um, you just go up to her and you say, take your pants off. In in the coffee shop, I say this. <laughs> yes. Just say, take your pants off. Take your pants off. It still works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just some more storylines for Shane. Uh, Shane cannot believe the price of a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Shane gets up early no matter what time she goes to bed. <laughs> <laughs> These are great. Shane wants those goddamn kids off her lawn. <laughs> Shane can't believe how low boys are wearing their jeans these days. <laughs> <laughs>
I love it. You love it? I love it. I mean, it's sort of perfect for me. It's uh, kind of perfect for me. I know, because <laughs> because the truth is, and people don't really know this about you, but you are like like a like a like a middle-aged person, but you've always <laughs> you've always been a middle-aged person. Well, you've actually always been like an old person. Yeah. You have there's a you beyond an old soul. <laughs> you you just are like you're just like we call her grandpa. Yeah. Yeah, because you just like you're a little bit like mother <laughs> oh. <laughs> So like I would and love I, and you know, I take I, I I own it. You, you know, do that, own it. I truly own it. And you make it look good, you know, like you <laughs> But I feel like you're kind of excited about the possibility. I mean, I'm open to it. It's not up to me. I mean, but okay. It's not. Do you, do you have Eileen Shaken's phone number in your phone? Yeah. Could we, could, what if we it's, called her? But it's not up to her either. But could we just call her and talk about it? Yeah, sure, theoretically. <laughs> but could we actually call her right now? <laughs> 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 Guys, we are trying to call Eileen Jacob to talk to her about bringing the L word back. You know what, um, Ramey, you don't have her number, do you? You don't have her up-to-date, I have her up-to-date email, but I don't have her up-to-date number. Okay. Shoot her an email. Well, it's less exciting for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's not super cinematic to watch an email. You know what, um, I want to do this. I just don't know if this is the right number. Let's just try it. Okay. If it's somebody else, we'll ask them if they want to revive the L word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Let's give it a shot. Let's... We're calling her. You want to leave a message? Fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just call on Eileen. Again, Again, I'm not sure this is her current number. I'll leave a message if his name is... Hello, we are not available. Shit, I hate when people do this. I do it though, too. Where... <laughs> um, it, it, if, you, if you happen to be Eileen Shaken... <laughs> hey, Eileen, it's Kate. I'm doing an interview with Liz Feldman. I think you know Liz Feldman. You... Right anyway, now. disregard the craziness. We were calling to, um, I'm doing an on-camera interview with Liz Feldman, and we were calling you on speaker, but you don't seem to be there. I don't even know if this is your phone, but I promise this isn't a prank. Um, I hope I talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so you told me that you did this film called Lane 1974. Yeah. Uh, and it premiered at South by Southwest. Yes. And it did really well. It did really well. What, what, tell us about the character you play in that. Um, it's, 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 uh, it's a true story. It's, uh, it's based off a book of uh, this woman's uh, childhood, and I play the mother of this. Oh. The film is based, uh, it's set in the 72 in this commune in Northern California, all these hippies That's that were cool. living off the grid, and it's about this little girl who's about 12 or 13, and, the, and she lives with a very dysfunctional mother, and I play the mother. This incredible wow. actor named Sophia plays the Lane character, and it's just, uh, you know, it's just this tumultuous relationship with this girl trying to and is that something that we'll be able to see soon? We'll I hope so. I mean, you know, I know, I know it did well at the festival, and I know people are interested. I should, I think it's, I think, believe it's going to the Seattle Film Festival. Very in cool. June. Um, so if you live in Seattle, go to the Seattle <coughs> Film Festival and see Lane 1974 yeah. with Kate Menick, who plays a mom in it. Yeah. So now, you know, if, if there is no L word revival, what is your next dream job? What would you love to be doing? I'd like to. I like television. Um, and it, it likes you. I know. I've been lucky. I, no, I'm lucky. But I do, I do love working in the television format. Um, I think, if anything, I'd love to be a part of a project that, uh, that has some real social relevance to what we're all ex experiencing. That sounds very we're, cool. You know, I, I, I want to. that for you. Me too. Yeah. I also kind of want you to play a dirty cop. Because <laughs> I feel like you would be like, you know, like, yeah. like, you know, like she's she's like you know out for justice, but like also you know sells drugs. I don't know what she does, but something you know like just like a like a like a fucked up dirty cop. I'll take it. Like you'd be great at that. Do I have to wear? I don't have to wear that that uniform though, right? Of course you do. Oh. <laughs> You're a dirty cop. No, you can wear whatever you want. Dirt, oh, like an undercover cop. Yeah, I sure. I like the idea of an undercover cop. Okay. Then you can kind of get away with a little bit more. Undercover dyke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coming next season on CISO. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back to the show. I really appreciate it. You're so welcome. You know I love you. I love you. Yeah. 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 Let's hear it for Kate Manning. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going back into your hallway. Yep. Yep. Hate to okay. see you go. Yeah, I know. Love to watch you leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our show, Lesbos. 
Um, join us next week when more lesbians come on the show and put up with my weird questions and inappropriate behavior and under the table leg groping. <laughs> I'd like to thank Kate Menning for being here and I'd like to thank you for being here. <laughs> in my heart. Or I keep you and hold you dear. Whether you like it or not. You're in there. <laughs> Please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like the show, tell a friend. If you don't, go fuck yourself. <laughs> we'll be back uh, in a week or two. I don't know. It's YouTube. I can do whatever the hell I want. Uh, we'll be back soon, and for now, I'm Liz Feldman, and you are so gay. Woo! <laughs>just don't call me straight because that's offensive. I don't know why you would assume that by looking at me because I have my hair and makeup done that I am straight. I am not. Get that. How long have you been? <laughs> she's blonde. She's, blonde. She's, she's witty. She's going to take over all of your city. Your city. So get ready. Get ready. And you should all get. Women love you, um, and probably some men, I don't know, or some non-binary people. I accept everyone! <laughs>